characters you're playing and how you would describe them as new viewers? Sure. I'll go first. Um, I play Agatha. She is a precog, precognitive um, psychic, and in the film she was featured. And now it's 10 years later, it's 2065. She's grown up a little bit, but she's in complete seclusion as we start our series. She has decided that, you know, the society that took advantage of her, she wants to have no part of it. She basically had, you know, the most unusual sort of history from a very young age being put into service to solve crimes and, you know, being haunted by these horrible visions. So she's decided that she wants no part of that. And um, she's arrived, you know, at this place where she's in complete isolation, but her brothers have gotten bored or for whatever reason they've gone back to the city, uh, Dr. Dash and Arthur, and she's very worried about them. And that may pull her back into the city, I don't know, but I have a feeling that she will get thrust back into society. And what that does to her is kind of an interesting question. Will she be, she's definitely not trusting of people. Um, she doesn't trust mankind as a, sort of as an entity. So will that make her more calculating? Will she be bitter about it? Where will it take her? Who knows? Or will she remain this sort of zen-like? We'll see. And I, I play uh, Lieutenant Will Blake. I am currently uh, Laura Vega, Detective Laura Vega's boss, uh, played by Megan Good. I, Megan, well, Vega, and Will Blake may have had something in the past. Uh, may or may have not had something in the past. Uh, and uh, now, a couple years later, you know, we happen to now be assigned to the same prison, and I get a promotion around the time when she felt like the promotion might have been hers, and that makes it for a little bit of a bittersweet, you know, relationship between us. She may not want to admit this, but they together are brilliant. They're almost a perfect cop together. Uh, they complement each other really well, and uh, he is very by the book. He believes in the program, he believes in the system, you know, he believes that the law is there for a reason. Um, and he, he does everything he, 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 uh, he does to actually continue to climb the ladder and be, be he's also an ex-marine, you know, so you'll see that eventually kind of purple somewhere in there, you know. Um, but yeah, so that, that's why I play in the world. And, and exciting because the Minority Report, the series, is, is, is a, uh, it's an official sequel to the movie. And uh, Steven Spielberg is, you know, he's, he's on, except for the user, you know, he cast everyone. He's, you know, he's opened his archives of, you know, of not only props, but wisdom when it came to the movie, you know, for us to actually not only base the, the DNA and the spirit of the movie, but also really uh, evolve the technology that he established in the movie to 10 years later so um, you know so that, so that was a win so as far as the technology um, we were talking to the producers and they were saying things like you can't slide your hand against the wall unless you know what you're doing so do you have like tech classes for futuristic tech yeah yeah I mean we have um, it's really like going to dance class you know what I mean like you go to this dance class and you go to this empty room and then you, know, you imagine the board there and then I think a lot of it is, is commands that make sense right like for example this um, you open files, two fingers and point forward. Now, at that point, this means you're highlighting that, you know, that file. Yeah. Enlarge the file. You know, there's all kinds of things that you have to do. There is an actual language to it, and uh, that's something that came from Tom Cruise and Steven Spielberg's collaboration. He said that there, there needed to be a language, there needed to be a, a, a dance that went with it uh, in order to trigger the computer to to collaborate with the detective, uh, and. Um, and we're doing that, and we're actually doing all that kinds of training too. Uh, Megan and I are also doing uh, future police tactical training, which means that based on you know decades and decades and decades of wisdom that the police have gathered, you know we're also now rehearsing and, and training a version of the police's methods that that will probably be the evolved version of it based on certain mistakes the police probably made and, and certain uh, evolution of theories and that happened as well. So I think the, the movements that you make have to look so natural and intuitive and then it's funny to step in and have to learn it from your perspective but it's like it has to be like watching a two-year-old with an iPad right and they just know how to do it and it all just makes sense like you said the movements make sense so they're finding their way to that which is really cool. My character doesn't even play with that stuff as much yet. Where do you expect the series to go as it goes down the line? Everywhere. <laughs>
Uh, I can see everywhere. it going 10 years into the future. Um, yeah, tell I us. Mean, I, I mean, think, she, she knows. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the one who knows where it goes? Hmm. I better tell Max where it goes. Um, I mean, I think, you know, there's so many relevant current issues to explore. Privacy, we, you know, crimes of the mind. Like, this is about maybe arresting people for things they haven't done yet. And, you know, who hasn't had, like, a violent thought. and But you don't necessarily act on it. That's a really interesting topical current issue um, and there's so much to explore just the, the future tech that we were talking about is was so elegantly done in the film and actually turned out to be right in so many cases that you know we're hoping to hit those marks as well yeah, and one of the things that you know, Steven Spielberg and, and uh, Max and uh, Kevin were really excited about is is how do you how do you recreate a procedure for me, right how do you do a procedure format that, that once has an arc, has some kind of conspiracy, you know, has a real direction where it's going, but on an every episode, how do you get that satisfaction walking away and saying, okay, we have a close end episode that still promised there was a bigger arc. And, uh, and what they've done brilliantly is uh, we're not going to be solving cases uh, that you will see in crime today. We're going to be solving cases based on technology that doesn't exist, that most likely exists. Technology that will assist uh, in the crime world you know, on a level that you can't even imagine. So that to me is was really exciting, right? How do how do we how do we crack a case that's never been done before? How do we how do you how do you crack a crime that, that you've never seen execute before? And how do you predict that? Um, and I think that that's what's going to be exciting to see that on every episode. You're not going to ever be able to predict, you know, how this goes. Um, and you know, leave it to Steven Spielberg to to create a universe where everything is possible. You know? So so you know, we're I think that that's a, a, a world that we're excited. To, to dive into and um, you know we just hope that the, the audience loves it as much as we're loving the process and, you know they're not sparing any kind of technology to make this look you know not just like the movie but an evolved version of the movie and because of today and, I mean imagine the technology they used back then and the technology we have now to actually create a, an interesting and more comprehensive narrative you know that's just insane to me the technology that we have today to reinvent the wheel like he did um, and that's what Stephen wants to do he wants to kind of just okay, what does it look like 10 years later in a society where technology evolves way faster right as you know technology Technology evolves. Like every two years, I feel like technology jumps ten years ahead. Right? If we imagine in a future where technology is improving itself, you know, and on an hourly basis, what is ten years later? What's going to look like? What is you know from 2055 to you know 2065? What does that world look like? And what is that technology going to assist us to do? And Stephen also created, um, you know, and I'm not allowed to say this too much because it's, there's a lot of you know secret stuff that we are not allowed to disclaim yet. But Stephen has created a, a new weapon that is going to assist the police uh, in a very in a, in a very unique level and. Uh, uh, the weapon is also it was inspired by, by you know actual you know, you know, social statements that happened today and social dilemmas that happened today. So I mean it's very exciting. He's making a statement with everything from the technology to the characters you know, to the story. Thank you.